So take the EcoSat out of the box and remove the plastic. Now the main thing is, particularly with satellite, but because it does include a GPS, you want to install it somewhere where there's no shade or coverings from hills, valleys or trees, because the solar panel needs the uh, good sunlight to maintain its charge. It has a GPS inside it and it needs to have a good view of the sky to get a GPS position and particularly if it's a satellite module, it also needs a good view of the sky to be able to send its messages. So out of the box you can remove these dimples which just keep the dust and mud out and you want to undo these four screws here which will let the, what we're calling a UV protective lid come off. Now that UV protective lid is replaceable after a number of years if it degrades in the sun without having to replace the entire unit you can just replace the UV cover itself. For just convenience I've already removed those screws so the lid just comes off and as you can see we've got two connectors on the side here one labelled lid solar which is obviously for the UV protective cover and one for external solar. Now most applications and particularly a standard application like this which only has one water bullet sensor you won't need any additional solar panel. So the standard panel is usually more than enough. So we'll just disconnect that panel for the moment and put it aside. Because of the shipping requirements we, uh, we have to send the units uh, when they're not powered on with the battery disconnected and with no power to the unit. So the first thing you need to do is undo the eight screws on the battery cover and remove the battery. All right, so we've undone the eight screws of the battery cover. You take the battery out. There's a little bit of foam or rubber to stop the battery moving around. What you want to do is just carefully let the battery fall out. And usually for convenience, we leave one of the terminals connected and one of them loose. All right, you just want to only the remaining terminal connect it to the other terminal of the battery. Now, once you do that, you should in a very short period of time hear a single beep. Now that indicates that the unit's powered up and operating. And the first thing it does is tries to report and send its first message. And it'll do that almost immediately. So probably the ideal thing to do there would be just to put a couple of screws in the battery cover, turn it up the right way so that it can get its GPS position and send its first message. Once it's finished sending its first message, you'll hear two short beeps, one straight after the other. <coughs> when you get your box, remove the UV cover like so, and we'll just pop that aside. If you're installing on a flat surface like this, then there are four pre-drilled holes in the wings here. One, two, three, and four. You don't have to use all four. It's probably not going to go anywhere, but you may just want to put a couple of self-tapping screws to stop it sliding off the edge of your tank. This particular unit only has one connector, so it's nice and easy, and it'll take the majority of our sensor range. <coughs> so once you've screwed your box down, you're going to remove your tank covers, your water level sensor out so that it can go into the tank as you feed it in and simply lower it down all the way to the bottom. You want to do that nice and carefully just so that uh, when it hits the bottom of the tank you don't want it to go with a really big thud because it could end up da damaging the water level sensor. Now usually we make these with about three meters of anaconda and that's the steel conduit protective layer with the poly sheath that keeps it waterproof and it keeps pests and animals away from it so that they can't chew it or eat it. After about three meters, you'll have an unprotected section that can just go in the tank. You may want to make sure that from this point onwards, that livestock and pests can't get a hold of it. So if you're going to expose any of it, you would like it to be exposed up to at least that level. If any of the bear cable is exposed like this, then that means that cockies and even snot can get a hold of it and chew it, and that will stop your reading. So just lower it all the way to the bottom and just there I can feel it sitting on the bottom. You can just lay it in carefully, leave it, as for the rest of it, leave as much of it either in or out of the tank as you like and simply insert and tighten the screw.
until it's nice and tight. Now once you've done that you might want to either drill some holes out here or in the side to let it come in and then you can recess them. With these ones that's probably not too bad, you could nearly just reattach it like so. So once you've finished installing your EcoSat unit, you want to replace the UV cover and the solar panel to make sure that the battery lasts for as long as it possibly can. When you're installing the solar panel, just take the connector and you want to insert it in the socket that says lid solar. If you've got an additional solar panel, it goes in the external solar socket. But most applications like water bullet sensing don't require the additional panel. Uh, for the additional panel you'll know because you've got the metalwork and this big panel mounts on the side. In this application we're just using an EcoSat all by itself mounted directly on the steel fence here. So insert the connector in the socket and do up the thread so that it stays nice and tight. When you're installing the lid you want to make sure that these four screws here don't come down on this cable because you might end up screwing through them or even if they don't screw through them it can press the cable and damage it. You'll know that that's happened because the lid won't sit quite right. When it's down it won't be nice and flat all the way around the bottom. It'll still rock a little bit. Once it's flat you know that you haven't got that cable pressed in there. You can reinstall the four screws and then put the dimple covers over the top. If it does get caught just lift it up a little bit and as you, as you drop the lid down just pull the cable to one side out of the way so that the lid can come all the way down and sit nice and flat and perfect. 